All right. As y'all may have seen by the thumbnail, kind of let out of the bag, the cat out of the bag, what this fucking motor is going on. Well, y'all remember that old orange simplicity that I had? I had it in a video a little while back. Well, the motor in that is fucked. It needs rings. It won't even fucking run anymore. I, so I decided to say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to fuck with that old motor. And I went to swapping a post twin on that chassis. Come to find out, I need to cut a little section out of the chassis for the opposed twin to go on. And, well, I didn't feel like doing that because I wanted to save it. Because, I don't fucking know. Maybe I was going to restore it one day. And then I was scrolling through Marketplace, you know. Sitting on the fucking shitter, looking at motors. And this thing came up for 50 bucks. I'm like, well, that is perfect. Because the V-twin is narrower at the base. Got a fucking oil cooler on it. It'll fit right into the chassis. And I have two cylinders for more fucking torque, so... I definitely had to hop on this fucking deal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the drive shaft adapter. One of these Vanguards. Now, obviously, you can see, you have to delete the fucking the plastic fins... Them are no fucking good. The adapter, you can see it already has a fan in it. And I just dropped a fucking bolt. Son of a bitch. Well, here's the fucking bolt that I dropped. And this is important because this is the next segment that I want to talk about. Is these bolt holes. Is what this is going to bolt onto. But here's a problem that I ran into. I didn't know they were 5 16 by 20. And I tried to... I tried to send a 5 16 by 18 home with a fucking impact. I snapped the fucker right off in the hole. After drilling it out and trying to re-tap it, you can see this hole has a 5-4 Triton syndrome. Not enough fucking thread to do jack shit with. And this one was still the 5 16 by 20. So I took a tap and I fucking raw dogged her out to 5 16 by 18. Where'd I set that bolt down? Oh, I put it in the adapter. And it screws right in. No fucking problem. Come on, focus, goddammit. It's not a good way to start off the segment. Holy fuck. Come on, focus. Alright, as you can see down in there... If this goddamn sacked out Android camera wants to wants to cooperate, I have my doubts. You can probably see there are two washers in there to space the adapter back because the nut is too small and it won't fit into the splines on the adapter. I'll, I'll have a picture up on screen so you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. That's how you get it made it up to the flywheel. And if you fucked the, the threads like I did and have like that much to fucking work with, you're going to want to be extra careful with the bolt. You're going to want to go grab a torque wrench and set it to the right spec, which should be around, I don't know, 13 pound feet. No, no I'm just fucking with you. Click. All right. Yeah, fuck that nonsense. Oh, what the fuck? This ratchet was just going <laughs> side to side. Ah. Walmart, your fucking ratchets are fucking junk. Brandy fucking new. And it's missing a fucking screw. You know, that doesn't really inspire confidence. Where is the fuck it bucket? Nah, fuck it. Just wing it right to the floor. Somebody will fuck with it. Alright, good thing I have a fucking craftsman right here. Back when made back when Sears was actually fucking relevant. Ugh. 
Ah, click. Fucking mint. Now you need to get this all set. Should be fucking golden. Well, I just tried test fitting the cover on there. Cause I thought I had to cut this off all the way around the shroud. But you wouldn't believe this, even if I fucking told you. So I'm just gonna fucking show you. The bolt holes line up. I have to do a little bit of finessing with right here to get that to line up again. The bolt holes right there lines up. The bolt holes over here line up. All the fucking bolt holes line up on the cover. And it spins freely without contacting the fucking cover. I thought I was going to have to cut this fucker out. This install is probably going to go a whole hell of a lot smoother than I thought it would. Alright. I'm going to get this motor all fucking buttoned up. Ready to fucking rock and roll. And in the next video, I should be lowering it into the chassis. And doing all kinds of shit to it. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video.